Okay, here we have the Continental 4A032 engine. This one, 32 cubic inch displacement, manufactured November of 1967. This same engine, except a little bit newer, manufactured in April of 1969. A couple of differences between these two engines. You'll note that this model, you can see, has provisions for magneto pickup to each of the cylinders. And this model has been transistorized, upgraded, with our breakerless ignition system. A couple of nice features of these little engines is they have dual ignition systems. You can see we've got two sets of points in here. Now this is the older model. The newer model does not have this. It's been upgraded. We have a block off plate and an on off switch. One nice feature about this, the gaskets on these are made out of lead. So they get out of shape, you just bend them back into shape, and you're off to the races. And a couple of other notable points. You can see on the bottom of the Magneto version, you have a couple of terminals, while the upgraded transistorized version has the solid state control box. These are very, very well engineered little engines used for multiple different purposes from running water pumps to ground power units. And just to give you an example of some of the detail that went into the design of these. The throttle linkage. Each end has a heim joint as opposed to just a piece of metal just hooked through, which would be expected on a Briggs & Stratton or some other engines. Not that the Briggs & Strattons are bad engines, but the level of att and attention to detail that's been paid to these little guys is far and above anything I've ever seen before. And for the price, uh, I would pick one of these up if for no other reason than just to marvel at the thought that went into the design and execution of these little guys and also prepped one of the valve covers here so you can get a better look at it. Pull that off. You see we're missing a couple of rocker arms. This is a parts motor here. That's our running engine over there. But you can see even the retainers have been drilled for a lighted for light reduction of weight and some of the other features which you will find on a military engine is the hot lash specifications for the intake and exhaust stamped into each and every valve cover Also, you can see it here. This one's been rebuilt, so it's painted over. It's a little bit harder to read, but I assure you it's there. And other notable features. You have a throttle selector, which allows you to pull the engine down into an idle. You can see it's stamped. You may not be able to make it out. But the idle position is forward, which just activates on this cam pulls the throttle closed by way of this linkage and when you want to go to your running RPM just put it back in the govern position and the governor mechanism takes control of the engine it is an extremely overbuilt design this engine is designed for a ground power unit 28 volts DC I've got the data plates elsewhere and this one is spec'd out at an amazing 6 horsepower. So try finding a Briggs & Stratton 6 horsepower engine that has this level of detail. And these things are common. There are quite a few thousand of these out there. So 
if you get a chance, pick one up. You'll figure out something to do with it. If for no other reason, just to look at it. Enjoy.